settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. This taken in about four yards deep, and we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line they built a good first half lead now they have a chance to add on to it and what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively They'll run on first down. It's Smith. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the hole and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop that, and do I have enough confidence to make the play? And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, it's Smith. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now a toss right to Smith. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. On second and 11 now. Ryan, his throw caught at about the five. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Touchdown, Atlanta. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Falcons will extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Sterling Hoffrichter to kick off for the Falcons. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Brings up second and from the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's 
it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyree Kill that time, and it's third and short. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Forced out to his left. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Intended oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. His throw incomplete to Marcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. But now it'll be third down. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Mahomes again here on second and 10. They'll roll him out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And now it's third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes, escaping the pressure right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. We're back now in KC. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Oh, Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes with the defense, it's tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height, or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get over it. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep, and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25-yard line. About 
all set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 43 yards. They'll run on first down. It's Smith. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Clark continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. On third down, Smith. And he will have the first before he's brought he down right the on the chalk of the 20. Ben they get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Six. First down, Atlanta. On first down, it's Smith. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover. One more score, and this game's over. And a timeout taken. Just six seconds away from the two-minute warning. This defense wanted to stop the clock prior to that, and they do. The Falcons on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Ryan. And that will be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to let it fly. This is caught inside the 15. A big play there. Mahomes to Watkins. 56 yards. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. On the move to his left. And it's caught. And he will take it on in. For a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs are able to get this back with a touchdown. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, so this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes. Look at your timeouts. Make that onside kick. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Oh, no, he lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Extra point. Get me. Let's go. Let's go. So here we go. They'll need the recovery, obviously, then a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover. It. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. 
A throw left side to start the drive is complete. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The 32-yard line. They'll toss it to Smith. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stop at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Now the Falcons are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is indeed good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've we got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. At their own 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one's not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now... <laughs> You're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. They're in the game, but they do get the score with all zero showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. We get set for a big two-point conversion. One final try for Mahomes. And that's caught for the additional two points. It only mattered the final scoreline, and that is the final act.